Good afternoon, guys, and happy, what is today? Uh, Monday to all of our sunshiny faces. Um, yeah, guys, it's Monday. I am, it's a little later than I would have liked it to be because the Cubs game was on and there was a rain delay. It's supposed to start, I think, like a little after 5.30 and I don't think it ended up starting until closer to 7 o'clock or something like that, um, which kind of stunk. But, um, you know, now it's 11 15 almost 11 30 and um i'm still awake right now um and going to go and try and take a shower i actually did get up like at an okay time this morning i didn't wake up super late didn't wake up super early either so um yeah but i got pretty much everything done on my planner for today the only thing i did not end up doing was all of this stuff that is behind me right here i have um a whole bunch of stuff set out for making freezer dinners um, that I was gonna do today and unfortunately I totally ended up forgetting because um, I was telling you guys too how it wasn't this last grocery shopping trip but the week before that on Saturday or Friday or whatever went to um, Jewel and I got some of that ground turkey and I told you guys my mom's not a huge fan of ground turkey but she doesn't mind it so much if it's mixed in with ground beef so I got three and a half pounds of ground beef and I was gonna do the one pound of the little Jenny O um, like one pound ground turkey that I got and do that all together and throw it into um, the five freezer dinners that I was going to make with that. I was going to do about three fourths or so, two, two packages. <laughs> um, I was going to make two recipes of like three fourths, using three fourths of a pound of, um, what's it called, ground beef mixture with the turkey as well to do um pasta sauce because i did get some of these at menards they were 99 cents after rebate i think they were like 119 or something like that normal price um so i ended up getting six of these so normally when i do these i do one and a half jars of pasta sauce to like you know the pasta that i wind up making and i either do it with ground beef or else i'll do it with chicken and shred the chicken up and do it sort of like a chicken pasta sort of thing um so like i said i ended up getting six six of the um the jars and i'm gonna make them into four freezer dinners like i said the ones with ground beef and then the ones not and then with the other three about three pounds of ground beef i'm gonna do just taco meat and then freeze that as well so that was my plan of what i was gonna do at least with the ground beef i'm also doing four um barbecue chickens which i'm actually just set these out i don't add them to them when i freeze them the chicken i just freeze the chicken breast as is and then cook them and then um I leave these in the pantry and once it's done cooking i add the, the barbecue sauce over the top but i always write on the bottle like not to use it for dinner um so i have four of those as well that i'm gonna do i got those at a pretty good price too handful of weeks ago a while ago um but i've had them sitting in the pantry because i've been waiting until i can get some um other freezer dinners too because i didn't want to have nothing but just like barbecued chicken so since i have a good stockpile of freezer dinners already it's okay to add in now some of the easier um you know like i said maybe a lot of like the same recipe type of ones like barbecue chicken which is a go-to but again we won't <laughs> i'm making in total what i'm going to do tomorrow is make 11 freezer dinners but again those are not all what we're going to wind up eating because i have a big stockpile now because i've been doing them consistently like at least maybe seems like four or more um like i think really in the last month i've probably done close to like 20 or 30 freezer dinners um and like have been stocking up and then too like we don't do freezer dinners eat freezer dinners every single day um like tomorrow i actually think i'm going to do breakfast for dinner because i got some bread last week i think it was that i wanted to do for french toast and i totally forgot about it um and so i was like you know what i will do that for a breakfast for dinner instead because um like you know one i don't want my dad to miss out on it since he's not here during the weekdays and i don't know how much longer the bread is going to stay good because i didn't get it last week it was two weeks ago um until waiting until this weekend and then two if i'll even remember this weekend <laughs> you know to do it on like saturday morning or something like that so um 
Anyways, my plan was to get the freezer dinners made and everything like that, but I forgot about the ground turkey because I froze it. Um, and so it was out in the freezer, and again, I forgot about it. And so when I was going to do them in the afternoon, um, actually while I was waiting for the rain delay of the Cubs game, I was like, oh, I can probably just whip these up real quick. Um, just do all the ground, you know, browning all of the ground meat that I need to, um, and then throwing the basically just the chicken breast into bags. And so, like I said, that was my plan of what I was going to do and realized I forgot the ground turkey was still frozen, so I have it defrosted. I'm going to use it for tomorrow. And then cook it and then have all the stuff and make it into freezer dinners. So, again, that is my long saga of what today ended up turning into because I was going to do them earlier today and I was like, you know what? I took more time for myself today just because I have been doing a lot of stuff lately and getting to a lot of projects and stuff like that. Yesterday too, I was just exhausted because it was so hot and sweaty and gross out yesterday. I was like, I just need to, you know, have a little bit more relaxing time um, for myself and stuff like that. So I focused on more like projects that I wanted to personally do or, you know, things that I wanted to get done. Some computer stuff, you know, kind of stuff like that. Um, you know, other than just like my normal stuff that I normally try and get to every day, but I hadn't, like I said, really been focusing or getting a whole lot of stuff done that, you know, or even just to like relaxing stuff that I wanted to do, um, so much. Cause while I was watching the Cubs game too, I was doing actually my classwork that I was trying to get done, um, again, so I can be kind of ahead and, um, like I said, some of that stuff. So like even during the Cubs game, I really didn't relax all that much to be able to just sit and watch the Cubs game. Um, so again, that's why I took a little bit more time today. So I was like, oh, I'm going to eat and I will watch something. And then when I was done, um, that's when I was like, okay, I'll make these freezer dinners then. That was around, like I said, three o'clock. And then by about, um, I think the rain delay again was like 530 or so was when I found out. So, um, it was like an hour and a half or so later. And then I was like, okay, well I'll make these now. And then that's when I totally forgot that I didn't even have the, the, um, turkey was defrosted. So... Like I said, I'm going to get that to that tomorrow, uh, coinciding with my cleaning the bathroom day, which is a little bit of a, you know, I don't like to try and get like two bigger projects done in the same time, but I honestly, I don't see this being a super long project or anything like that or drawn out or anything. I'm just going to wind up throwing some um, pasta sauce <laughs> and um, chicken breast and, you know, browning ground beef. So I don't, like I said, it should be hopefully pretty quick. Um, but I did get to everything else on my planner for today, edited and uploaded. And um, that was the other thing too today was that I was editing vlogs that were really long. So that's why um, I'm going to try and keep the vlogs a little bit shorter, hopefully this week, so that um, when I go to actually edit these vlogs, I'm not standing there and editing for what feels like over a half an hour because some of the vlogs have been like, almost 20 minutes and I've been like editing out a lot of it but um you know they're they like the amount of footage I have has been close to 20 minutes and so with editing time it's probably like close to a half an hour or more and again that's like I said sometimes can uh, eat into a big chunk of my day so um you know especially if I'm editing a couple in one day which is what I've been doing since I've been a little behind lately so again all this stuff adding up and stuff like that today kind of again took me away from that that I wanted to get to but also to had a little bit more time for myself which was nice too and I told you guys too I was doing that I was doing some like recipe organizing that I was adding um like recipes to my sort of like master <laughs> recipe organizer um that I was making so that's what I was actually doing today while I was kind of more me time but it was something that I just wanted to do to kind of relax myself and even though it was still being productive it was again something that I was like you know what I just kind of want to sit here do this it's kind of mindless and like listen to music and stuff like that and have just again some time that I can enjoy for myself and just sitting down and stuff like that because I was honestly too like on my feet for most of the day yesterday so I was like I just want to kind of again I can be productive but still kind of relax and do what I want to do um so again that's why when I came out here to try and do this and again forgot I'm I'm going to get it done tomorrow and also get the bathroom cleaned as well so um yeah guys but other than that there wasn't a whole lot that ended up going on today i ended up also getting to laundry and dishes and stuff like that too um which everything in the dishwasher is dirty so that's good that means that i can just load it up um with the stuff that was dirty from tonight which i normally do in the morning too i have a really good routine in the morning guys like my morning routine has been like seriously really good like I will um I normally make myself breakfast and while it's cooking sometimes 
it depends on what the day is and kind of what I have a taste for. But while I'm cooking whatever I'm cooking for breakfast, it's sometimes been hashed rounds, especially lately. They normally take about 20 minutes to make. I can get the dishes and laundry done in 20 minutes pretty much by the amount of time it takes for my hash browns to be done in the morning. Um, so like I said, I have it down to like a science. And again, sometimes a couple minutes for cooling and like if I didn't finish something up, I can normally get it done in those couple minutes afterwards. Um, you know, so if I'm like, oh, I'm almost done with the dishes, I'll just take it out and let it cool for a couple minutes and then normally finish right up. Um, so again, I've been, I'm like I said, my morning routine has been like really on. So two of my like bigger chores that I do every single day to just maintain and stay on top of is dishes and laundry. And I always get to those two first so those two things first thing in the morning. Um, and so I sort and organize, you know, I go through, collect all the dirty clothes from all the laundry baskets and sort and organize them in the morning and run a load or two if I have to. And then I am normally golden. I don't have to do any other laundry for the rest of the day. Um, sometimes for like a couple of days, but I still will gather up everybody's dirty laundry and just sort it in the laundry room, which again, if I do it every single day, it takes me five no more than 10 minutes because then the other five to 10 minutes is normally spent doing the dishes, which like right now, that's just the stuff that needs to be loaded up into the dishwasher, um, which again, I will do in the morning. And I also have to wash, I used a crock pot from dinner tonight, but I always, <laughs> I always let the crock pot sit overnight. I'm not good about, some nights I will remember to actually fully wash it out, but a lot of the nights I just let it sit. It makes it easier to clean too, guys. Like seriously, um, if I'm like, oh, there was like, you know, like, you know, something got stuck on it or, you know, sticky or whatever, I'm just like, um, you know, something's caked on there. I'm like, I'll just let it sit overnight and then it'll normally be super easy to clean in the morning and then I don't have to do it at night. <laughs> but again, my mental focus normally shifts in the morning too to being like, okay, quick, I'll get all this stuff done. And then, you know, I sit down and have my coffee and you know whatever I ended up making for breakfast and stuff like that and just again kind of get to a couple things that I need to do so normally then I'll upload and sometimes I'll upload and edit at the same time and then again sometimes I can be done with all of my like pretty much my main chores sort of stuff and things that I need to get done for the day in the morning um you know or sometimes before noon depending on when I wake up and depending on how long like I have to edit and stuff like that um so it can be normally sometimes a pretty quick process so, um, yeah guys, anyway, so like I said, trying to keep these vlogs a little bit shorter, but I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. I might share with you guys too, process of making some freezer dinners. These ones again are basic recipe ones, but um, this will wind up, I'll show you guys what I ended up getting and you know, turning into all that stuff and making 11 freezer dinners for this week to just stay in the freezers, probably ones that we won't touch for a little while because again, we have ones that I already made before that need to be, you know, used up most likely before the other ones. So, um, and tomorrow, like I said, I'm not even doing a freezer dinner. I'm going to be making breakfast for dinner. So I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshine faces tomorrow. So bye guys.